hi guys welcome to my vlog and it was nice to see you all again and i'm so happy that i made this video today because you know what this past few days past two days i went to the emergency room because i was so sick uh, i had an allergic reaction with the medication that i've taken for my cough and flu because I am always sick here in Colorado and it's really hard because maybe I'm not really immune to not really immune to the weather so I'm always sick in here and as you can see I have the like a hard time on my breath breathing you know so <clears throat> Like it is like something on my chest that is I can hardly breath. So maybe because of the altitude as well. So um it happened last Thursday. So last Thursday I went um I asked me my supervisor if I could leave early because I'm not need I real I'm really not feeling well. I keep on coughing at work <clears throat> and like i had a hard time of breathing so i told him like um i really had a hard time <clears throat> so i told him that um what do you call this i told him that it, I, if i can able to leave early because i'm really not feeling well so i drank some tea turmeric ginger tea that time because i keep on coughing and i don't i'm a host at my traineeship right now so <clears throat> that's it and then um i told them that i i told my supervisor that okay if i can able to uh, leave early so he allowed me to leave early so i went to i went to this uh to the city market and check some Dayquil because last time I have Nyquil so I tried Dayquil because they said Dayquil is good also for the cup so last time Nyquil is good for me then this time um, so I drank Nyquil that time um, at first it's okay I don't know why because I'm taking my I, I'm, I'm taking every day my <laughs> what do you call this my antihistamine with me so yeah i so said that they all right um oh no i didn't take i just took um biogesic that time by the way so yeah then on friday i didn't get go to work because i'm really not feeling well i feel very sick the time i have a bad calf and i have a bad rhino so I didn't go to work and I asked for a call in sick that time. So I didn't go to work last Friday. So it's a good thing. Saturday, Sunday, and this Monday is my day off. So Saturday, uh, I know what foods are I'm not allowed to eat. So I'm not eating, you know, this kind of foods because I know I'm allergic. And I don't want to be to suffer allergy here because I know I'm alone here. But right time, I really had a bad headache, bad, I have a hard time of breathing, and even now, right now, and yes, I really had a hard time that time, so <clears throat> I take the day grill, yeah, and I eat some noodles for me. I don't eat noodles uh, that is chicken. I eat beef noodles at time. <clears throat> and so, yeah, the time. And I drink some Dayquil. And then I tried to back to go to sleep. But my head started itching. It's really itchy. And then I am full of hives in my body. I'm really scared, you know, because I'm alone at home. And... It's like 3 o'clock the time, I think so. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't check the time that time. Um, I was really crying because I'm on pa I'm panicking that time. <clears throat> so I forgot to call 911 that time. <clears throat> you know what I did? It's, it's very traumatizing to me if I can still remember it. It's really hard. 
to be alone here in the USA, especially if you have that kind of situation. I can still remember myself. I can still remember how I suffered. Yes, I forgot to call 911. I feel like I'm still in the Philippines at the time. So I went outside of our house here. I stopped someone's cars. And I asked some help to that guy if he could brought me to the hospital because I had a hard time of breathing. It's really hard for me because I was alone. I'm so scared. I'm so scared to die that time because my eyes starting to blur, you know, my eyes starting to close and my buddies are full of, you know, hives. It's really hard for me and it's really, oh my God. If I can still remember that situation of me, of my, it's really hard because living alone here is really hard. But it made me stronger this time and braver. So, my J1 experiences here in Colorado, it's fun because I met different kind of people. But the weather here, <clears throat> the snow here made me sick most of the time. I had a hardly breathing. I already talked to my sponsor if I can able to move to another state, which not this kind of weather because it's really hard if you're really not immune to snow and yeah and yeah because if you are easily to get sick you know so yeah and i'm so thankful to the man who gave, who gave me a ride to the hospital that time and he was able to he saved my life because he's about to go to work that time he's working in the market his name was ricardo i keep on searching which supermarket he was working and i'm about to ask the people also in the supermarket if they could able to know him and i'm very thankful for him because without him i may be not here talking to you right because the allergy that allergy that attacked me is really oh my god that is very traumatizing to me so Right now, I need to. I mean, need an appointment to see my allergies on twenty fourth, because maybe I'm allergic to another kind of medicine right now. Because I know uh, what medicine I'm allergic. I know what kind of foods I'm allergic because, uh, back to the Philippines, I've already checked myself what kind of things that I'm not good at, uh, not immune at it, or I'm not. Um, I'm not, what they call this, I'm not allowed at times, so I'm very careful for all the foods that I'm taking here because I'm just the only person here, you know? So it's really hard to live by yourself. And you know what? So that experience is really hard. So when I, uh, I'm really thankful to the driver, to the guy, to the man that he was able to brought me to the hospital because i told him can you just uh um can you please just um let me go to the nearest clinic and i will just have like injection for the allergies because i know what is happening when i have an allergy back home they will just inject something to me and then i will feel better because the hospital in my hometown is very near to our house so i'm very safe as well but here, it's really hard if you don't have your own car, you don't have your own transportation. And I really forgot to call 911 at the time because I'm really on panic. I don't know what to do. And I'm really thankful for that man that helped me a lot. And when I went to the Bali view, he just dropped me. And I told him, "Can I'll just 
how much should I pay him? Because he brought me to the hospital. I disturbed him and he said, it's okay, just uh, get well soon. And that's it. I walked to the... When I entered the hospital, I walked by myself. But I can't see anything, you know? It's so blurry. I just... Uh, you know, the senses, it's quite blurry. But, so I just straight uh, forward walking to the to that area to the emergency room and i was crying i told them that i have a hard time of breath of breathing and i told them that i don't want to die i really want to I don't want to die here you know it's really <sighs> because i'm just two months here you know in the usa it's, it's really hard for me to experience this kind of stops because i'm just alone here and that experience made me realize that Oh, I'm so tough, I'm so strong, I'm so brave, and I'm so... This kind of experience is really... It makes me feel that, oh, I can able to do this kind of stops on my own. But you know what? That is life-threatening, you know? Kind of situation. So I told them that, oh, I don't want to die today. Please help me. And I'm so grateful to all the people, their staffs in the hospital because they were so nice. They were able to, oh, you can sit on the wheelchair first. Come down. We are here to help you. We are here to to uh, make you feel okay. We're going to treat you well. And then they let me um, put in the emergency room. And they started to inject everything to me and i was unconscious at like a few minutes i don't know a few minutes or a few hours and they like started to uh inject some inject um ivs on this side on this side and they inject something on my legs as well so i'm just um they let me wake me up to be conscious the time and yeah and i was keep on crying the time because it's really hard you know it's really hard to be alone and you go to the hospital all by yourself it's really hard this kind of experience really traumatized me but this kind of experience made me realize that you can't able to experience this kind of stuff on your own. And you need to handle it all by yourself, you know? So, yeah, that's it. And I'm so happy that the nurses are really nice. I, the care here is really different. The medical treatment here is really different. <laughs> like, the nurse were able to ask me, Are you okay? Um, are you not depressed of what happened to you because you were just alone? Are you not going to hurt yourself? I think because mental uh, uh, mental health is very important here also in the USA. So that's the reason why they ask me like that kind of stuff. And yeah, and after that, they, I was sleeping. I was sleeping and they just checked me from time to time and they put me some oxygen as well they checked my oxygen level and a lot of stops they were injecting me they were able and then they make me feel conscious and then make wake me up to take some medication oral medication um that is prednisone and they also gave me some um for my potassium because my potassium that time is very low so they told me to get some electrolytes because my potassiums are very low that time so yeah and dr michael stall is so nice he was able to ask me are you okay and they all know that i'm a j1 here because they asked my information and they asked my insurances and i told them about that kind of stuff and they were uh, so caring my nurse kate my nurse hannah and they know because I'm living here alone and farm for my family. Um, they were able to ask me that, are you okay? If you need something, don't be shy to ask. Uh, we are here to help you. And 
if I am feeling better now, you know. So I stayed in the hospital for like four hours to five hours at that time. I'm so thankful also to my supervisor. They were able to go to the hospital to visit me. Also, she's an angel and Justin. I'm very thankful to them to, to visit me in the hospital. And I know they're from their work and they work like 6 a.m and it, and they went there like uh, 5 a.m 5 p.m or 6 p.m i forgot and i know they're very tired but thanks to them that they were able to visit me that time and and yeah and you know what um i was released like at 8 p.m yeah i forget 8 p.m or 7 40 yeah, 8 p.m. I was able to release to at 8 p.m. And they were able to... Um, the doctor asked me... Oh, um... Huh? 